Hello there everyone and welcome to Void Dwarf Studios where today we finally get around to something that I've been trying to sort out since uh, since the request actually. Thank you very much Paintbrush Duelist. We are going to figure out how to paint orcs and I have a fantastic little kit here from Forge World which is the orc mech kit. I thoroughly advise that if you do buy Forge World models to follow their instructions on how to prep the material first because if you don't, it's going to be an absolute nightmare to paint. Once you follow those instructions, these tend to involve putting the plastic pieces into some warm water, which gets rid of some of the chemicals and such that makes the paint run off it and slide. And also it tends to unbend things and make things more pliable, because often Forge World stuff tends to be a little bit bent and you have to straighten it up again. And if you don't use the water first to make it a bit more pliable, they're very easy to snap. And once you've done this, I've assembled mine up until this point purely because, well, I don't want to assemble the entire model because if I put the arm on the orc, it's going to be really hard to paint around the sides. So assemble your model in a way that will allow you to paint it. Or you can just paint it in individual pieces. I've used Warhammer Super Glue because, well, it's pretty good. It comes in really small tubes, which can be a pain occasionally, but they tend to be precise and that's exactly what you want. And as you can see, our orc mech is accompanied by a bunch of little Gretchen, one with a cool looking banner pole, and the other with, well, a megaphone and a big pad, <laughs> just to just to check and see what kind of things he needs from the scrapyard, I guess. Now, these are the paints we're going to be using. I will be adding one or two to this image as we go along, but first up, we're going to use some ceramite white to base the entire model. You can of course use Avedon Black. I'm just using white because it reacts better to the contrast paint we're going to be using later. This may take one or two coats, but just make sure you cover the entire model so that you've got a good solid base paint. And now for the contrast paint. So this stuff is basically a bit of a wash and a bit of a bit like a layer paint. You can use it multiple times and well, the skin will get darker and darker the more layers you use. So obviously, for me, I'm doing this all over the orc's flesh, wherever I find it, as well as on the arms, for the Gretchen. This will be the base colour for your orc's green flesh. Pretty straightforward stuff. And then we got to cover all those lovely metal bits with some lead belcher. Again, another base paint, pretty straightforward stuff. Obviously, paint the model however you want to, it's yours at the end of the day. But this is just how I like to use the lead belcher, mostly around the mechanical crane thing that he's got on his back, the Gretchen's megaphone and box, and a bit on that little banner that the Gretchen's carrying. Next up we have the Mechanicus Grey. I've decided to use this predominantly on the backpack that the Orc has, and on various bits and pieces on the other Gretchen. Make sure you've got plenty of different metals just to make the base more interesting, and it's always better to have at least three colours on a model anyway. Just brings out a bit more colour variety and makes them a bit more eye-popping. Now we better start painting some of those leathers. So I'm going to start with some Mornfang Brown. This is just going to base paint all the uh, leathery hide looking bits. So the little apron thing on the mech and the various loincloths that the goblins wear. Just so that they are a bit more clothed. <laughs> Give them a bit more decency and all that jazz. And don't forget those little straps for the arm. Now we're going to paint some boots and some of the more metal components. I'm going to use Avalon Black and some Hashut Copper, because I love copper, <laughs> I love the colour copper. Going all over the mech, painting various components differently, just to make them stand out, the various dials, cogs, and various other bits and pieces. Followed by some Ubshabti Bone, I'm going to use it for all of the Orc and Gretchen teeth, as well as the shaft of the axe, and the little fabric key straps that hold his arm guard together, as well as the claws and fingernails of the both the orc hand and the Gretchen. So just go over these areas very carefully and just remember you can always paint back over what you miss or whatever you accidentally go over that you don't mean to. As I am a Def Skull fan, this model's going to need some blue and I'm going to start painting some more metallic bits using Scorpion Brass. I'm first going to start with the little flagpole that our lovely little Gretchen has and paint the beautiful skull on the top. I'm going to paint the fabric that the Gretchen with the notepad is standing on for his uh, little megaphone. And of course, the orc mech himself is going to have various blue bits of metal painted on him because blue is lucky 
and it's nice to be lucky. <laughs> and it's especially nice to be lucky when you're a mech, when you're dealing with stuff that could explode on you at any moment. As you can see here, these uh, Death Skulls have been fighting some Black Templars, or maybe Raven Guard, who knows. I've also painted some more metallic colours on the base, just to make it all pop and stand out a bit more. And of course I've also done some more metallic paints on the various bits of scrap that the Gretchen with the notepad has. Not forgetting the backpack and the arm, because it's nice to have some different metallic colours on there too. I've done the various cogs and levers and switches in the Scorpion Brass, and obviously I've painted over the bits that I want to have have more steel colour with some lead belcher. Now we're going to paint that lovely little eye on the orc banner. So not only am I going to paint the eye on that lovely little orc banner, but we're also going to go over one of the eyes on the orc mech. The lens is on our Raven Guard maybe Black Templar helmet, and we're also going to use yellow, Avalon yellow to be precise, on some of the cables and tubes that connect to the, the massive servo arm thing on his back and also paint one of his bionic eyes with the same colour. So it ends up looking something like this. I always find it's nice to have different colours for bionic eyes because it just, again, it just means that it looks like it's for a different function. Waz Daka Red for one of the tubes connecting to the axe as well as some white scar which I'm going to use to paint over the little squares on that arm guard of his. So you get this nice little cross patch colour like that. Very pretty. I mean, I'm quite happy with that. Now, very, very carefully, I'm going to use snot green. Of course, any green potentially will do, depending on what shade you want. And I'm just going to dry brush over the higher areas of the orc, just to make it stand out a little bit more. This should give your orc and Gretchen a bit more definition, you know, help them look a bit more lifelike, make them just pop a bit more. Now that I've done the majority of the painting on the body that I want, I'm going to assemble the arm to the mech, as well as the backpack. This was a bit tricky, I found it very hard to line it up right, but you'll occasionally find this with Forge World models. It could of course be my own competence, <laughs> I'm more than willing to admit that's a possibility, but I'm fairly happy with how this looks. Now I'm going to deal with that little light he's got on his shoulder with some Avalan Sunset. Just put that inside the little lantern, and I will wash it later so that it looks like that it's on and it'll just make it look a bit more interesting. You know, it's nice to have a flashing light on an orc. Now my least favourite bit of any model, the eyes. With the orcs, I paint the entire eye black, and then using a teeny bit of white, I'll put a drop into the eye for the pupil, as well as a little bit on each of the various devices, the various optical bits. And of course, I'll go over the Gretchen as well, just so that you can see what direction they're looking in. And once you've got that little tiny dot in that eye, it's amazing how much character that gives to the model. I used a tiny bit of pink horror for the Gretchen with his tongue hanging out, just to, you know, <laughs> just to give his tongue some definition. Now to finish that wonderful flagpole, we're going to need Mechanicus Grey, we're going to need some Brass Scorpion, some Lead Belcher, and uh, I've made it look something like this. It's, to me, Orc stuff always has to look like it's cobbled together from different materials, you know, just to make it stand out a bit more, and I'm very happy with how that's turned out. Give it a quick wash with some Null Oil or Black Tone, and it looks like this. Oh, and of course, a quick dab of White Scar on that Bionic Eye. Now we're going to go back to the mech for his mechanical arms. We need copper, and we need brass once again. Just going over the various nuts and bolts, the various wires and cables. More luck is required, so some more blue. So just over the various panels that are on top of it, there's a little skull which, and some teeth that I've put the blue on. And we've also got Mechanicus Grey, which I'm just going to use for the jaw. And there's going to be a little bit on that little canister he has on his belly. And he's got a chain link around his neck, which I've also painted. We are getting close, people. Not too far now until we start washing stuff. In fact, now is the time to wash stuff. Again, Null Oil or Black Tone, and I'm going to use Agrax Earthshade. The Earthshade I use predominantly over the metal bits, and the black on the skin, and some of the fabrics and stuff. And it looks something like this, looking much more three-dimensional now, aren't we? And of course I'll use the same tones on the two Gretchen that accompany him. And now for the base. This is the first time I'm going to show you this, but these are how I'm basing my orcs, in a deserty kind of way. First up, Martian Iron Earth. Put a good layer on that using any tool that you particularly use. I quite like using the uh, sculpting tool myself. And just make sure it's all over the base on all the models and wait for them to dry. And they should look something like this where it's all broken up, it looks a bit more like a barren desert, and that's the kind of look I'm going for. Forgetting the lovely little cigar he's chewing on, 
I used Mournfan Brown, I used some Mephiston Red and Avalan Yellow just to make it look a bit like he's smoking a nice big fat cigar. But back to those bases. I'm going to be using some Flash Kit Yellow and some Mephiston Red very, very, very carefully, just sort of lightly brushing it on, just so it gives the desert a bit more colour, a bit more texture. And your finished orcs should look something like this, and they will proudly join the rest of my boys. Along with my cannon fodder, <laughs> I mean Gretchen, wonderful Gretchen, good Gretchen, good little Gretchen, with some trucks and various other bits, and my orc mech, by far my favourite model from all the orc range. Right, this is how I paint orcs. I've uh, shown you using how to do the contrast paint, mostly because, well, god damn it, it's so much faster. Whilst my older orc models do have different colorations to them because of I use different base paints, you can do this effect just the same, just contrast them and then use a base paint you like the look of and lightly brush over it. This will save you a ton more time, believe me. Because when you've painted over so many orcs, <laughs> I've lost count. There must be at least 60 or so of them. And I know that there are armies that have more miniatures like that, like poor Skaven players. But uh, yeah, no, I've had enough of painting green <laughs> for now. It's the uh, constructs, mechs and walkers that I love most about the orcs. They're cobbled together machines. Oh, glorious. Anyway, I hope you've all enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. Like and subscribe. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to paint or any other tutorials that you might... Well, tutorials. Let me know if there's any other models you'd like me to show you how I paint them. In any case, have a lovely week, everyone. Take care.